Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Blend modes are one of the differentiating features of Pixelmator Pro. And in this video, we're going to be talking about four ways to use the color blend mode to improve a photo. So let's get right into it. But first, what is the color blend mode? As with all other blend modes, with the color blend mode, you need two layers. The layer below is the base layer, and the layer above is the blend layer. When you change a layer's blend mode to color, only the hue and saturation values from the blend layer is blended in with the base layer. The luminosity values of the blend layer are completely ignored. So with that short overview, let's run through four ways to use the color blend mode. The first way to use the color blend mode is to replace a color. To demonstrate this, let's work with this image. Let's change the color of the dress to blue. Click the Add Layer button, fill it with blue. Set the blend mode to color. Notice that the blue from the blend layer has been applied to the entire image, not what we want. Let's fix that by selecting the dress. First, I'll hide the blend layer. Next, I'll press Q on the keyboard to bring out the Quick Selection tool. Next, I'll select the dress. There, the selection is done. Right-click the Blend Layer, click Add Layer Mask. There, the dress has been turned blue. Unfortunately, there are some errors in our mask. To fix it, right-click on the Mask Layer, click Refine Mask. Use the tools in the right panel to fix any errors. There, a much better result. So that is the first way on how to use the color blend mode. Let's move on to the second way. The second way to use the color blend mode is to enhance colors. The color blend mode can be used not just to replace colors, but also to improve existing colors. To demonstrate this, let's work with this image. While I do find the overall colors of this image pleasing, the red and orange areas to my eyes do look a little washed out. Let's use the color blend mode to fix it. Add a layer. Set the blend mode to color. Use the quick selection tool to target the washed out orange areas. With the blend layer selected, use the paint tool to paint orange on the selection. Let's do the same for the reds. Select the target area, paint red on the blend layer. Here is the before and the after. As you can see, a significant effect. So that is the second way of using the color blend mode. Let's move on to the third. The third way to use the color blend mode is for creative effects. Let's demonstrate one such effect with this image. Let's use color to put emphasis on the cat's beautiful eyes. First, I'll duplicate the background layer, and this will be used as our base layer. I'll rename the layer to Base. Next, I'll add the Blend layer. Click the New Layer button, fill it with blue. I'll hide the Blend layer for now. Next, I'll desaturate the Base layer. Unhide the blend layer and set the blend mode to color. 
the base layer takes on the blend mode's blue color. A nice effect in itself, but what I want to do is to place this color in the cat's eyes. I'll select the cat's eyes using the polygonal selection tool. There, the selection is done. Right click the base layer, click Add Mask. There, the effect is done. The cat's piercing blue eyes really stand out against the desaturated background. So that is one creative effect that you can do with the color blend mode. Let's move on to the fourth way to use the color blend mode. The fourth way to use the color blend mode is to enhance a dull sky. Let's demonstrate this with this image taken during sunset. While the foreground looks good, the sky is looking a bit too dull. Let's spice it up with the color blend mode. Once again, I'll duplicate the background layer and this will serve as our base layer. Next, add the blend layer. Click the add new layer button. Fill it with red. Next, let's select the sky. I'll temporarily hide the blend layer. Next, I'll use the quick selection tool to select the sky. There, the sky is selected. Next, unhide the blend layer and set the mode to color. Right-click the blend layer. Click Add Mask. There, a more striking image. To temper the effect, simply adjust the opacity. You can also experiment with various blend layer colors to see which one works best. So there you have it, four ways to use the color blend mode. As you can see, it is very powerful and an easy to use tool with a ton of applications. Let me know if you know of any other uses of the color blend mode. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.